Hi, this is Mythic Deviant and I'm C. Gabriel and I hope you've had a nice week. Once upon a time there was an elf named One. An elf wanted to fly. He wanted to fly more than anything in the world. Every night he would dream that he was soaring above the land, flipping and turning and taking in all the beautiful sights and he was truly happy. And each morning he would wake up and he would feel kind of disappointed. He would feel sad that he realized he could not fly at this time. One morning, after such a dream, he was in the bathroom brushing his teeth when he glanced in the mirror and out of the corner of the mirror he thought he saw his teeth all rotting. And he was horrified, so much so that he spat. After he had rinsed out his mouth and changed his shirt, he decided the thing he needed to go do was see his grandparent. He never knew if his grandparent was going to be a grandmother or a grandfather because the elves in his family changed gender at will. When he arrived, he discovered that it was a grandfather. So he asked his grandfather what he should do. He said it was horrible. They were all rotting. It must have hurt. His grandfather said, not to worry not to worry that it was just a waking dream and they happened to the best of us and he had told him and it would be fine and so the elf was feeling a little bit better but the next day he went to have his teeth cleaned just in case but then everything was fine and some time passed and again one morning the elf was looking in the mirror brushing his teeth when he noticed out of the corner of his eye what looked like the king galloping past behind him in the mirror. To be clear, the king himself was not galloping, but the horse the king was riding on was galloping. In any event, the elf was very, very excited. And she went running out to tell the neighbors. And the neighbors too were very excited. They were like, how wonderful, that's such a wonderful vision. And soon there was a big party and everybody was waiting and talking about all the beautiful dreams that they used to have. And it was a lovely day. And on the way home, the elf played a game of walking directly in the fresh horse hoof prints that ran through town. And a while passed again. And this time, when the elf was looking in the mirror, she noticed beside her a big golden pen and she recognized that golden pen as the award for the annual poetry contest that was coming up in the next month and she thought how strange and she was very excited because she really loved poetry so she went running to her grandmother's house it was a grandmother today and said grandmother grandmother and the grandmother said yes and then she said i just wanted to tell you how very grateful I am for the other day when you helped me out with my teeth. They seem to be fine. You were so right. And my grandmother said, that's wonderful, dear. I'm glad it worked out for you. She said, well, thank you. And now I need to go. And she went home and she worked on her poetry. And she wrote several poems that were very nice and she entered the poetry contest. On the day of the contest, she got up early, she put on her best clothing, and she went down to the middle of the town where they were being held, where it was being held. She went up on the stage and she recited her poetry and she won the grand prize for her poem about the beauties of flying. And she was very, very happy, but she still really wanted to fly. So the next day she got up early and she went and she stood in front of the mirror and she stared at it, trying to see images of her flying. And she stared and she stared and she stared, but she didn't see any. And so after a while she tried maybe jumping up and down sort of randomly, sort of erratically, attempting to make it look like maybe, maybe that would bring in some image of flying, but no. There was no image of flying. So then she tried swishing her hair back and forth, hoping that she could glimpse her hair in the mirror and maybe it would look a little like flying, but no, 
No, it did not look like lime. So finally, she went and she got a lipstick and she drew a picture of flying on the mirror. And then she thought, huh, I have seen the picture flying in the mirror. So then she went and she began to make herself some wings. She made very beautiful wings. They had to be perfect. They had to both have a lovely fabric that would really billow in the wind and catch it and be beautiful. She thought beauty was important. So she drew intricate, fantastical wings on this wonderful sewn wing set. And then she went out into the woods. She was not a fool. She did not go to the top of a cliff. She went to a very short boulder. She climbed up upon the boulder with her wings and she strapped the wings onto her back. And she spent a moment reflecting on what it might be like to fly, remembering the feeling of flying from her dreams and really pulling that feeling into her body. Then she spread her wings and she leapt off the boulder and plummeted into the wet dirt and leaves, significantly muddying the wings she had just made. She felt quite sad, but she got up, she dusted herself off, and she went home, where she started looking into Elven pilot licenses. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a fantastic week.